Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Dow Academy Online Learning. We look forward to seeing you all back in class. But for now, stay home, stay safe. And remember to always wash your hands with soap for at least 20 seconds. Let's begin. Good day, Form 3s. I would like to welcome you to our biology lesson. Um, I just want to remind you to continue practicing good hygiene and stay home. Our topic today is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the manufacture of carbohydrates by green plants in the presence of sunlight using the raw materials carbon dioxide and water. In photosynthesis, the light energy is converted to chemical energy. The light that is trapped by chlorophyll it acts as a catalyst to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. And the chlorophyll, it is found in the chloroplasts. These are small organelles that are found inside the cytoplasm of the cell. The chlorophyll, it trips the sunlight, which acts as a catalyst. In uh, photosynthesis, I've written the word equation, which shows carbon dioxide plus water to give in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to give glucose and oxygen and below i've given the symbol equation which is the chemical equation where six carbon molecules they combine with six water molecules in the presence of sunlight to form the glucose molecule and six oxygen molecules that is the process of photosynthesis in a nutshell and then we would wonder how do the raw materials get to the leaf? Uh, the raw materials in the lower surface of the leaf, we have what we call the stomata. They are very microscopic. You can only be able to see them under a microscope. You, the carbon dioxide, it diffuses through the stomata and enters the leaf and goes to the photosynthesizing cells, which are the palisade cells. And then the water, the water, it is absorbed by the roots and then it goes via the xylem vessels that are found inside the stem and then it reaches the, the leaves where there are veins. As you can see on the leaf, there are some veins. These are veins. These veins, they also contain the xylem vessels which carry the water to the photosynthesizing cells. So this is how the, the water and the carbon dioxide reaches the photosynthesizing cells so that photosynthesis can take place. And then I just want to talk about how the leaf is adapted for photosynthesis. As you can see, this leaf, it is broad to give a large surface area for absorption of light. It is broad and flat. And then the other thing, it is highly supplied with veins to supply the water, which is the necessary raw material for photosynthesis. These are the veins. You can see the veins. And then on the lower surface, we talked about it earlier, it has got the stomata, which small openings through which the carbon dioxide enters the, the leaf. And then you can see that the leaf itself, it is thin. It is thin to give a short distance for diffusion of carbon dioxide from the lower surface of the leaf to the upper surface where photosynthesis takes place. That is how the leaf is adapted for photosynthesis. And then briefly, we are going to look at the outside structure of the leaf. And then in the next lesson, we look at the detailed uh, structure of the leaf. The outside, this is the leaf stalk. And then this is the, the midrib, this one. It's called the midrib. And then these are veins. Veins. And then in between the veins, we have got what we call the lamina. And then on this side of the, uh, we have what we call the blades. So this is the outer structure of the leaf. In the next lesson, we are going to look at the detailed inner structure of the leaf where we talk about the upper uh, epidermis, the palisade mesophyll, the spongy mesophyll, the um, stomata, mm -hmm. the gut cell, and all other in-detailed structure. That brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you.